Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to another episode of Dexter's Lab 2013. This is going to be a bit of a funny special episode. Um, not only am I pretty close to getting to 5,000 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. I find it absolutely remarkable that uh, you all want to watch um, the things that I get involved with. But uh, thank you very much for all those viewers. Uh, it's really much appreciated. Uh, the other special part about this video is this box, which has an interesting story behind it. Um, I was contacted recently by a guy called Drew uh, from a website called glitchart.com. He likes to hack around with vintage video equipment. Yeah, I wonder whether you may be able to guess where this might be going. He hacks around with vintage video equipment to get uh, unusual, unusual video effects. It's like uh, circuit bending for video. Um, so that was really interesting to sort of see the stuff that he gets involved with. And he basically said to me, can I have a paint box? So uh, I had a bit of a think and I basically went, yeah, why not? Uh, there's just one small problem. Um, on all of the things that I've managed to acquire that are Quantel related, I've only ever had one working tablet, uh, which works with the two paint boxes that I actually have working. So that represented a bit of a problem if I was going to send one to uh, Drew in the uh, USA. Uh, so we had a bit of a discussion. Um, I knew of a uh, listing on eBay which had been there for a really long time, um, well over 12 months. I originally saw it when I first picked up my Quantel paint box from Ash and it was a really crappy description, terrible photo. Uh, it basically showed um, an old Quantel tablet and a Quantel V-series chassis. Um, there was literally no description other than, um, like, it was it was in French as well because it was on the French eBay site. And it was basically just listed as a, um, a palette graphic Quantel. That was it. Um, it was sold untested, um, no more information, um, and the seller couldn't really give me any more information on it either. Um, I don't think I even managed to get any better pictures out of him. So back when I first started on my adventure, I left it be and uh, forgot all about it. But when Drew came along and said, I, I want a paint box, and um, the only place I could think that I knew where there was a tablet which might be working uh, was this listing on eBay. So I basically explained what the deal might be to, to him and he seemed quite keen, to be honest. Um, so he's basically bought that uh, listing that was on eBay in France and sent it directly to me. And that is what is in this box. So uh, this is going to be an unboxing video to see exactly what we bought. Um, uh, I'm sure Drew is gonna be watching this uh, biting his nails. <laughs> um, hopefully, uh, We've got a working tablet. That's really all we need for Drew to get him up and running with his paint box. Um, the chassis that's in it, I'm not too fussed about. If it, if it is another paint box, then awesome. Um, if it's not, if it's something really weird, well, we'll just have to wait and see what it is. It might be interesting. It might be a load of shite. Uh, but I've got my fingers crossed that this should be a working tablet for Drew. The, the tablets are pretty well made there's not really much that can go wrong with them uh, they're built like a brick dunny to be honest and uh, my gut feeling says it's going to be okay so uh, i am nervously anticipating the contents so as you can see it's a rather big box it's got a nice uh, dts logo on it on there um it's uh yeah it's 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 been through the walls i hope it's packed well on the inside because um, the box is starting to fall to pieces um, so yeah, let's get cracking, should we see what we find? Oh, I can't bear the tension. Okay, we've got uh, what looks to be a reasonable amount of packing, which is a good thing. This box is enormous. And that is very much a V-series chassis. Ooh. 
Well, we certainly have a tablet and it is the right model. Um, does it work? That's a good question. Um, okay, I've got this plugged in. Uh, now, the label on the back says the voltage range is 85 to 240, so it's obviously got a switching power supply in there. So, given that I don't really know what is um, going on inside, I've actually turned this down on my Variac down to 100 volts. Um, given it's probably not been powered up in quite a long time, um, we'll give those old capacitors a bit of an easy time to start off with. Um, and hopefully it'll just turn on without going bang. Lights have come on. Uh, it didn't come with a pen, but uh, thankfully I've got spares of these, so, oh, yes. So you can see there the uh, power light, and we've got ready and status. The status isn't really used, but if I bring this in proximity, so the tablet looks like it's working properly. Right, well, let's take a look at the chassis. Not sure what it is. We have diagnostic, which that port is often the diagnostic port in addition to um, a, a normal serial port. We've got printed tablets, so that is pretty similar to a paint box. Um, it's lacking a lot of connectors that you'd normally see on a paint box. Um, doesn't seem to be any in... No, no, there are inputs. Uh, so we've got one input, one output. Coded video, coded key. I'm not sure what they are. That is probably the, the um, SCSI port. So that probably is a hard disk in this. Um, we've got video in and out. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this is. The serial number is just about readable, I think. So hopefully um, I will be able to find out exactly what this actually is, but let's open it up. Okay, the uh, plastic stands which normally allow you to open the lid are broken off. So I'm just gonna have to pull this out in its entirety. And hopefully the clips at the back, yeah. Right, uh, really interesting. Um, this, uh, so we got to the uh, power supply. Uh, we've got an old five and a quarter inch hard drive. Uh, my original paint box that also came with a five and a quarter inch um, hard disk. Um, it's a Seagate on this one, an ST250N. Oh, sorry, uh, it's ST2502N. Um, probably hard to tell what size that is. Um, it's probably a couple of hundred megabytes, I would have thought. Um, overall, this looks pretty much like a paint box. So I wonder whether this actually is a paint box and it's like a cut down version uh, because it doesn't have the digital output, video outputs on it. But everything else um, is the same as my paint box. Right, I'm not going to do a huge amount more to this now. I'm just going to remove the uh, hard disk that's out of this because there's no way I'm just going to turn this on and just expect it to boot. Uh, those hard disks are pretty old and clunky nowadays, so I think the best thing to do is take that out, uh, connect it straight onto my PC and try and get an image of the data that's on it. Who knows where that, that's come from? Uh, presumably some uh, French TV station, hopefully. Uh, could be interesting. So uh, I'm just going to take the hard disk out and... Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Right, so I think that's been pretty much a good positive experience, to be honest. Um, it looks like it survived the shipping. The tablet does appear to be working. Uh, we've got potentially another Quantel paint box, although I'm not 100% on that. Could be something a bit obscure, but it does appear to be pretty much a Quantel paint box. And even if it isn't, I could probably hack it into one anyway. Um, and we have this mystery hard disk. What mysteries are contained on here? So we shall try and read off the data that's on that. Hopefully it, it'll spin up and work. 
Um, and uh, that'll be an interesting one to investigate and find out where this has all come from. So, uh, Drew, I think things are looking good. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you on the update to what's on here. See you later.